in this playlist of most common cases in physical therapy the pathology i will discuss is the scoliosis scoliosis is a side world curving of the spine resulting in one or even two curves there may be a one curve or a severe or in severe cases there may be two curves making the spine like c or s in some cases the spine even show a rotation component spine spine will rotate this rotation start when the scoliosis become more pronounced the scoliosis become more prominent the rotation occurs this is called torsion scoliosis causing a gibbous scoliosis is typically classified as either congenital it may be caused by a anomalies present at the birth this is called congenital idiopathic any unknown cause and sub classification as infertile juvenile adolescence or adult scoliosis according to the when onset occur if it occur in a adolescence it called adolescent scoliosis if it occur in a adult cases it is called adult scoliosis this you can see the s shape okay or secondary to a primary condition there may be primary conditions uh, like congenital idiopathic or there it is due to secondary scoliosis secondary scoliosis can be the result of neuromuscular conditions like spina bifida cerebral palsy spinal muscular atrophy or any physical trauma these are the secondary scoliosis means it may be due to some other cause the treatment for scoliosis are first preparation warm up plus stretch warm up consisting of 8 minutes walking on a treadmill or elliptical machine after the warm up each patient had to do some stretching exercise don't, don't go for stretching exercise before warm up spine forward stretching the patient sit on floor with a straight back and the leg stretch the patient has to bring her trunk forward the goal is to stretch the posterior muscles chain and mobilizing the vertebral spine this is the forward spine stretching upper rolling the patient lies spine with the arms beside the body the patient has to raise both legs toward chest then this person has to unroll spine slowly vertebrae by vertebrae goal is to stretch the posterior chain mobilizing the spine and strengthen the abdominal muscles child position this is also the patient do for sco in scoliosis the patient sit in a four sport position has to stretch her spine her arms are stretched and she has to push her hand against the floor then she has to lower the spine in this case the goal is to stretch the thoracic paravertebral lumbar and gluteal region muscles and mobilizing the vertebral spine the patient sit in a four sport position then she has to raise the right arm and leg while the spine stay aligned then the same exercise but change arm and the leg to stretch them goal is to stretching the convexity of the vertebral spine stretching over a wall bar the patient hold up to the wall bar and slightly relax his legs flex knee allow spine to be stretched using body weight this is the wall bar stretch goal is to stretching the convexity of the vertebral spine in this lecture i will discuss the scoliosis the causes of scoliosis primary and secondary scoliosis and the exercises to overcome or decrease the progression of this disease can you tell me the causes of scoliosis thank you